In this video, I'm going to talk about the scheduler in Dubsado. This is part of our how to use Dubsado course. If you haven't watched the full playlist, I urge you to because there's a lot of setup before you get to the scheduler point. Up until this point, everything that I've talked about can be done on the starter plan in Dubsado, but from now on, we're going to talk about schedulers public proposals and workflows, which are three features that you will need the premier plan. And to me, these three features are very next level and you should focus on getting some of the easier stuff set up first. And then this is where all of those things you've already set up are going to start to come together. I think the scheduler is probably the simplest of these other features to explain. And if scheduling appointments is very important to your workflow, then you're going to absolutely love this. If you're new to Dubsado, we have a link in the description as well as our code designed by Lainey that will get you 30% off your first month or year with them. To access the scheduler, you're going to use, of course, this templates tab. It's pretty much all we use. And you're gonna click on scheduler, which has said it's been in beta for years now, but it works great. In the scheduler, you'll have two different options, which is appointment schedulers and scheduler groups. Scheduler groups basically just is a collection of different types of appointments that your client will then select the type of appointment they wanna book and then book. The appointment schedule is just those individual types of appointments. So as an example, you could send out to your client to do a consultation with you. I'm an invitation designer, so this is something that I would do before I book. So I might send them a scheduler option and then that will allow them to book on my calendar an appointment for a free consultation. So when you want to add a new type of appointment, you will just click add template and we're gonna name it. So we're gonna say invitation consults designed by Lainey and we'll choose how long we want that to be. We typically want these to be 30 minutes and then you can either schedule so that it's a rolling day window, a fixed date range that would be from the 2nd to the 4th of February, for instance, um, or indefinitely. So that's depending on what you want to do. If you're scheduling like mini sessions as a photographer or a workshop or some sort of limited time offer, you could do that all for the month of February. Um, I'm going to do indefinitely because this is a consult that I'm going to use pretty much forever. And then we'll set the times that we are available. If you have synced an external calendar, which is something you can do in your settings with the settings gear up here, then any times that you are blocked off on that calendar will also automatically be blocked off on your scheduler. I don't have a calendar synced on my demo account here. Um, so we will just use these pieces here and you can also kind of click through to select additional dates more than two weeks out. When you're editing a specific day, you can choose if it's only that specific day or if it's for all Tuesdays. So for an appointment like this, I might say that I'm only available every Tuesday and Thursday for a specific time, but I'm available pretty much every Tuesday and Thursday for these consults. So say I wanted to be available from... 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. all Tuesdays. And then on Wednesdays, I don't want to be available at all. Thursday, I want that same 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And I want that on all Thursdays. And then I want no Fridays at all. And we didn't select our Mondays, so we will just grab that. Beautiful. Um, and then once booked, you can show as busy. This is great unless you're allowing multiple people to book the same time slot. Uh, that could be something that's important to your use case. Here's where you can enter a location. So I might put like Zoom in here. And we can also integrate Zoom and some of the other conference systems in here um, so that they can be integrated fully in here. What I typically would like to do is create a recurring Zoom meeting and just use that link in the description of the email so it's really easy and we don't have to worry about new links sending every time. Now here you can select a canned email if you would like to or you can always type in an email specifically for this scheduler and as it says make sure in that canned email to include the scheduler link in uh, your smart fields. So for me I would prefer this to say book your invitation consult and I might say something like I'm so excited to chat invitations here's a scheduler where you can pick a time that works best for you can't wait to hear more about your wedding vision 
scheduler. XOXO. You can also use a signature and you can use any of your smart fields in here as we can with any other emails. We'll click save. And now we have this template here of our invitation consult and we can go through and edit anything as needed. In our advanced settings, we can do some things to make sure we don't get double booked, overbooked. Um, someone doesn't book something while we're asleep that we need to make sure we wake up early to get to, etc. Um, so I'm going to prevent booking um, 12 hours in advance. So that would be before 10 p.m. Uh, the night before a Tuesday or a Thursday. That would work for me because I would likely see that before I went to sleep. And then buffer time, this would be if you have multiple people scheduling, you can create like a 10 minute window between consults so that if someone has already booked, you know, 10 to 1030, someone can't book 1030 to 11, they could book 1045 to 1115. So I don't necessarily need a window before the appointment, but I am going to put 15 minutes after because sometimes I go over. Now you can change your available time slots. 30 minutes makes sense because that's the duration we've given for this appointment. And then you can set like the maximum number of appointments for a day or the maximum number of appointments total. So if you have, if you only want to book you know, your five next consults will be at this discounted price or something. You can just make sure that this can only be used five times total. I don't want to have more than like three appointments a day. That's not something that I really have to worry about. I'm not usually booking that many, but just an option in there to keep me from getting too overbooked. You can do an appointment confirmation email as a canned email response. You can add an additional form. This is a consult call, so I could add a file uploader for them to add Pinterest images. I could add a form asking more about the, their design vision if there's any additional information that I need. Sometimes I'll schedule a consulting call, and so I'll add a form asking them some questions about the background of their business so we can really dive in and we don't have to cover that on our call. And then your confirmation page can be any URL. Um, so this could be something else you do in Dipsado, but it could also be something on your website that just says thank you. Let me move my face for a sec so you can see these toggles. Uh, you can require a deposit to secure the booking. This is so nice for any kind of paid consult, uh, paid mini session, paid consulting call, etc. cetera. Um, notification is just to set up a reminder notification email for them. And then you can change the scheduler to a monthly view. It's usually about two weeks or a week or so when they get it. So we are not going to toggle that on. But if you did for the invoice, you can create the invoice uh, right here and you can see if they want to apply discounts or not, which is just so helpful. There's so many different ways you can use this for any kind of paid uh, time that you want to allow people to buy from you. So we'll click save on all of those advanced features. And then we'll look at how this appears to your clients. So it's automatically going to create a link for this and you'll get an embed code. I don't have a scheduler embedded on my website, but you can see my lead capture embedded on my website. And it just looks so congruous with everything else on my website, you can't even tell that this is an outside system or you can get a direct link. So if we copy this direct link and send it to someone, we have our greeting message here. You can change some brand settings to make this a little more personalized. And then we have all of our upcoming days. So it is about two weeks, 10 days that we see on here and you can change it to the month view if you prefer. So if you were to click on the 22nd this Thursday, you can see all the different time frames that are available. Grab one, submit and finish. This is also where they might get a new form. They're going to get those confirmation emails. They're going to get any reminder emails that you have set up for this scheduler. Um, and they can also change their time zone here to make sure the times are in their time. So now you'll see we're no longer 10 to 3, but we have 1 to 5.30 p.m. So super easy to either embed this on your website or send that direct link. Now I mentioned a scheduler group is basically just going to be a combination of these different appointment schedulers. So you can allow the client to opt in to what type of appointment is best for them. Say you have three different coaching options. Um, one is a 30 minute quick session. One is an hour and a half and one is like a full day coaching thing. And they all have different times they can be booked. They all have different prices associated with them, different invoices that we created in the advanced settings. You can go into your schedule groups, add a group, and you can just select which options are going to be in that group. And then instead of just getting the one type of option to choose from to go ahead and book, the client is going to get the option of which type they want to book first. 
and then they'll be able to book that particular type. So this is how we use schedulers in Devsado. I love this feature and I think if you do a lot of appointments with your clients or paid appointments, paid coaching, etc., this is going to be such a fun feature, especially because you can integrate so many great video conferencing platforms and you can also integrate your external calendars um, so that all of your appointments are going to be blocked off as they need to be and you're not going to accidentally double book. In the next section, we're going to talk about public proposals, which also can incorporate this schedule and is a really fun option for taking this to the next level. As a reminder, this is part of our longer course on how to use Dubsado. So if you haven't started from the beginning, just go back to the beginning of this playlist and check out all the videos to get set up.